pundits and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, 4 losses, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist tonight, making the first defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current reigning and defending WBA welterweight champion of the world. Introducing 54 Milagros, your lady Ugas. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing white trunks trimmed with flames. As the boxing senator, he is fighting out of it, proudly representing the Serengani province in the Philippines. He weighed in at a trim and ready 146 pounds. As a true icon of boxing, his record stands at 62 wins, 7 losses and 2 draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the four-time welterweight world champion and boxing's legendary and only eight-division champion of the world, introducing the one and the only Manny Pacquiao! And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Russell Mora. A foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you, Cliff. Touch up. An electric atmosphere here in Las Vegas. Manny Pacquiao, at 42 years of age, the senator from the Philippines. There's his wife, Jinky, watching intently as she watches her husband compete for the 72nd time. Will we see the old Manny Pacquiao or at 42 years of age, could we see an old Manny Pacquiao? Your Dennis Ugas looking to shock the world and we are underway here in Las Vegas. Ray Forrest breaks on here at T-Mobile Arena. Immediately starting strong with the jab is your Dennis Ugas, but coming in with the left immediately moving forward is Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao so explosive quick has dynamite in both hands Freddie Roach made him a two handed fighter to make his right hand destructive like his left for Dennis Ugas fundamentally sound Cuban bronze medalist in 2008 for Cuba in Beijing to be considerably the bigger man. We don't have an unofficial scale, but I would gather to say that Ugas probably looks like 160. Well, the Ugas camp did say that they want to focus in on attacking the body of Manny Pacquiao to try to take away some of his legs and his speed because Pacquiao, well, there's a straight left and Ugas got popped, but he wasn't in any danger. He's just off balance. Couple of straight lefts that crashed right into the face of Ugas. Manny Pacquiao obviously has the faster hands and now he's unloading. Ugas though pushes him off. There's a size difference and there's an overhand right. Then back to Pacquiao. Ugas with the right hand. That caught Pacquiao, but Pacquiao answers with the straight left right of the button. Ugas smiles at him. Just over the midway point of this our first round. Our 
already considerable action in the first several moments of this fight. There's a right to the body that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas is really focusing in on attacking the body of Pacquiao to try to take away some of the spring from the legs of Pacquiao. Pacquiao generates a lot of his power from his legs. You see those bulging calf muscles that have been so emblematic of him. Freddie Roach said that Manny Pacquiao in sparring looked tremendous. He knocked out two sparring partners over the past several weeks towards the end of training camp. We are under 40 seconds to go in the first round. There is a left to the body, and Pacquiao says, hey, come on, keep him up. What energy here at T-Mobile Arena. For Pacquiao and Ugas. Skip shot for Ugas. Ugas was successful against Abel Ramos by using a litany of jabs, and Ugas just pushes him down. And that ends the first round. Effective counter punching of Dennis Ugas, along with the fundamentals of him using his jab more than that of Pacquiao. And no doubt, Manny Pacquiao let his hands go. There's a right hand connecting for Ugas. Midway portion of the fifth. Tense moments here in Las Vegas. This crowd came out to There's a right hand for Ugas. Very one-sided crowd, all in favor of Manny Pacquiao for the most part. And flash your hands, potentially. Thankfully, no blood. They can touch gloves. Under a minute to go here in the fifth. Double jab for Pacquiao, partially blocked by Ugas. At this pace, this favors your Dennis Ugas because it is calculated and methodical. This is not the kind of fight that Manny Pacquiao who likes to engage in buyer fights. This temple in pace favors Ugas more than anything. Because it's very strategic and deliberate. There's a right hand counter for Ugas. But Ugas being the naturally bigger man, there's Pacquiao pounds away on the right glove of Ugas. smiles at him out and then he shook his head as to say nope nothing got through there's a couple counter right hands by Lucas another counter right hand but back comes Pacquiao Pacquiao tr trying to end with a flurry and that ends the fifth much to the delight of this partisan Pacquiao crowd that was towards the end of the round and look at Lucas just stare down Manny Pacquiao both men locked in the welterweight championship of the world on the line. Ray Flores here in Las Vegas. Or Dennis Ugas, the champion, got elevated after the WBA strip. Manny Pacquiao of his title. The one that he captured by defeating Keith Thurman back in July of 2019. The last time Pacquiao was in the ring 25 months ago. Jabs landed. Pacquiao 23 at once. Do you favor the aggression or do you feel the tactical counter-punching selective mindset of your Dennis Lucas. Pacquiao stepping forward, throws a combination, but back comes Lucas. What a sensational fight. Pacquiao steps in with left. Find a mark for Pacquiao. As we are coming up on 90 seconds to go here in the seventh. There's a right.
right to the body. Emblematic over the course of his 25 year plus career. Here's a straight left by Pacquiao. There's a right hand on the left ear of Pacquiao. Pacquiao with some swelling underneath his right eye. Lucas has swelling underneath his left thigh. Largely in part to those straight lefts from Pacquiao. Final stages of the 11. A riveting matchup. A big right hand for Lucas as we head down the stretch. Of the 12th and final round. Door cards and the fans coming to their feet, bruising outside of the left eyes of Manny Pacquiao. And if you notice, Pacquiao was breathing extremely heavy in between rounds. 12th and final round. Could this be the final round in the career of Manny Pacquiao? And with the result hanging in the balance, total punches landed thrown through the 11th. Pacquiao, 123 of 737 for a 17% connect percentage. Lucas, 140 of 380 for a 37% connect percentage. Pacquiao has nearly doubled the punches thrown compared to that of Lucas. But Lucas has been the far more accurate of the two. There's a right hand by Lucas that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Pacquiao might have been off balance, but he smiles. And now Pacquiao looking to retaliate and respond. There are a, there is nervous energy here at T-Mobile Arena because this is a partisan Manny Pacquiao crowd. There's a big right hand by Lucas as he stepped in beautifully and got a lot of leverage behind him. 90 seconds left in the fight. 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And still champion, Jordan Yeah.